Head on over to our affiliates at inkgaming.com to pick up play mats, deck boxes, sleeves, anything that you need to get your game night going. Maybe even get yourself a custom play mat. Check out the link in the description below. Yeah, Voltron in my land. <laughs> we're not supposed to do that? Uh, you could hey, 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 over hey, here hey. build it. Cast Calmax. He's here. He's your local Toyota dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. So Calmax used cars and SUVs. <laughs> Are you done blocking? What? Are you, you done declaring blockers? Chris is going to do something. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to help you out. Oh boy, I wasn't expecting that. Just, you know, it's Voltron. <laughs> what do you do? What's the best way to deal with Voltron? Well, have it die on a 1 1, I guess. Nat 20. Yeah, it'll collapse. <laughs> 19. Mm. Wow. Just just, just right by. So close. <laughs> so close. Yeah, so far. <laughs> but you're not last. Good try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not usually last. I'm just very rarely first. <laughs> Unless you actually count them up, then it's Chris. Chris is never first. Well, Chris has all that depth. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, welcome to the day, night, evening, whatever you're watching us. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. So, uh, Vince had made this suggestion one time. Then we also had our viewer, MTG Godzilla. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Make the suggestion for Voltron. And that's what we're doing today. So, we all went through our collections and found a commander that we felt uh, was worthy of Voltron, right? Yeah. I kind of so. hit the nail on the head a little bit. <laughs> as far as who's good for Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> so... You guys just first time watching, you guys been watching us for a while, give us a like, give us a subscribe, it's the best way to support us. It helps us grow and helps you know when new games drop. Yeah, remember to share it, yeah, share with your friends, check out some of our previous videos too after this one. We have quite quite the uh, the backlog, so hey, if got a few other uh, specialty games, color, color madness games, plain chase, you know, hey, this might be something that catches your fancy. Got more of those coming. We got some suggestions from one of our uh, viewers for different names. We had we had some names chosen, but we you know we got some suggestions. I'm probably gonna use them. So. But that I'll tell you what I'm playing today, guys. Today I am playing Light Paws Emperor's Voice. He's a legendary Fox Advisor. Whenever an Aurora enters the battlefield under your control, if you cast it, you may search your library for an Aurora card with mana value less than or equal to the Aurora and with different names than each Aurora you control. Put that card onto the battlefield attached to Light Paws Emperor's Voice, then shuffle. He's a 2-2. So a lot of auras. Yes, I went aura heavy. There are obviously some artifacts in there for fixing and whatnot. Yeah, because I really need color fixing in a mono white deck. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a lot of aur auras and trying to do uh, some crazy stuff. You know, I think uh, with this kind of game, everybody playing the same style, it's going to be interesting to watch. Because <laughs> one Voltron versus non Voltron is kind of unbalanced. So. Yeah, it depends. Well, when it's, I mean, I think, the, I think all Voltron against each other is even more. Throw the sink at the wall and see what sticks. <laughs> Let's, see many many sinks. Let's see how many sinks we can attach to our commander. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can summon their, uh... man, I can't remember what the Power Rangers call them. They're... The Zords? Yeah, they're Zords quickest. <laughs> our Lions. <laughs> Vince, what are you playing? <laughs> I will be playing Stang Echo Warrior. Uh, red Green. Um, legendary creature, human warrior. It's a 3 4. Whenever Stang Echo Warrior attacks, create Stang Twin, a legendary 3-4 red and green human warrior creature token. It enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. For each aura and equipment attached to Stang, create a uh, token that's a copy of it attached to Stang Twin. Sacrifice all tokens created this way at the beginning of the next end step. So. I also didn't go real artifact heavy. I kind of was like, 
that's usually a, one of the big you know things going to is uh, doing a lot of artifacts. So I was trying to be a little different. There are some in there, but it's mostly all enchantments. Uh, and then obviously copying the twin so I can go wide because normally you have one creature that you're putting a bunch of stuff on. So hopefully I can do it and go you know two different directions. So we'll see what happens. I want to see. Back in the day when we first started playing, 94, 95, I think that was like really one of the first legends I pulled was the original Sting. Yeah. And I just had it and I thought it was the coolest card. There was never a token, but I thought it was the coolest card. I mean, card. I remember <laughs> it. I mean, it, you know, at the time it was cool, but now not so much. So it is not in the 99. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor. Flavor. Uh, Vince is going for spice today. <laughs> we'll, oh, yeah. we'll see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> spice must flow. Over to you, Dan. Percent. All right. <laughs> I went with Glissa Sunslayer. Uh, one, a black and a green. It's a Frexian zombie elf. First strike, death touch. Whenever Glissa Sunslayer deals combat damage to a player, choose one. You draw a card and lose one life, destroy target enchantment, or remove up to three counters from a permanent. Wow. Mm -hmm. Target permanent. Yeah, cool. So I, I just thought rather than doing something where it's playing off of the other stuff, get, you know, a, a creature that's kind of heavy on its own, beef it up, and then maybe get some uh, stuff from attacking. Yeah, the first strike, okay. Death Touch, by itself is already... Yeah, it's coming out of the rough. gate heavy. Yeah. So, um, did you... Because the set it's from, did you do any infect in there? Or maybe. To toxic? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. But I don't oh, think so. Man. Oh. I think I cut it because there was other stuff I thought was more interesting. This is cooler. <laughs> the, 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 the biggest issue I have with Toxic, and you can cut this later, is that Toxic only gives you one counter per uh, combat damage. So that means to kill one of you would require me to attack you ten times. And if I haven't killed you before then, that Toxic damage is like... Yeah, unless you're proliferating. As proliferating. Yeah. That's um, the big thing with it. That's what I did with my green is strong. A lot of proliferating. But then I'm building a deck more around proliferating instead of around mm -hmm. Voltron. Actually, Voltron. Voltron. Yeah. Makes sense. Sure. Is Voltron even work? <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever you had ing to anything, I guess it works, right? <laughs> running. Huh? Running? Mm, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> All right, well, I am playing Calamax, the Storm Sire, all the way back from my Coria Commander. Calamax is a 4-4 elemental dinosaur for one green, blue, and red. Whenever I cast my first instant spell each turn, if Calamax, the Storm Sire, is tapped, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Whenever you copy an instant spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Calamax. So, Calamax had kind of came out the gate with the bad rap of just being like, yep, you turn sideways and you either go infinite or you just hit somebody really hard. So, I think that's kind of why he fell off the wagon pretty fast, uh, but I always thought he was a pretty cool card, but I've never felt like I've been able to build a deck that does it justice, or at least be more interesting than just to cast two copying spells and go infinite, so hopefully I put together something kind of fun and interesting, but we'll see. Uh, it's definitely, yeah. Doesn't it usually end up in like the 99 Riku decks? Uh, I, th I think you can, yeah, he's definitely like... You, if you play, if you just play him as the face, he's definitely you, you definitely get targeted really fast. If you're just in a so you're running pod. instant sorceries and like equipment Voltroning. Yeah, yeah, definitely trying to like buff up its power. His power, you know. It's not like cheating, but <laughs> depending on what I do, it might look like it. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so today we got foxes, elemental dinosaurs. Frixian zombie, is that his name? Frixian zombie elf, wow. And a uh, human warrior. Got quite a mix. Let's see who can uh, Voltron up the fastest and uh, smash some face. And Power Rangers, team up. Team up. Let's get those zords, guys. All right, all right, Nat 20, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we'll kick us off. <laughs> Draw. All right, I'm gonna play a Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Tap it for a colorless, pay one and a white, tap it, put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. 
Then I'm going to pass because I really can't do much more. <laughs> no Wayfarer's Bottle? No, no, no. I will draw and I will play Command Tower and I will also pass. Draw. Oh, no. Who's going to be the one of us to play somewhere else? A <laughs> yeah, forest, which I will then pass. <laughs> awesome. He beloved. It's up to me to break the cycle. So it's going to be a mountain and pass. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't feel behind like I thought I might be. I wish I would be in turn 20 by this time. There. Draw, planes, and lucky for me, my commander only costs two. Oh, so shoot. here comes a light pause. Oh, um, no. Emperor's new groove. Uh, but he's done doing anything now. But whenever an Aurora enters the battlefield under control, if you cast it, you may search your library for an Aurora card with a mana value less than or equal to the Aurora and with a different name than each Aurora you control, put that card onto the battlefield attached to Light Paws, Emperor's New Groove, then shuffle is 2-2, two, two, and I have nothing else I can do. Uh, pass. Okay, draw this. Gotta deal with all those auras at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna play this forest, and then... Yeah. <laughs> play Utopia Sprawl. Cool. Uh, I'm going to attach it to my forest, because I enchant forest as Utopia Sprawl enters the battlefield. Choose a color, red. Whenever enchanted forest is tapped for mana, controller adds an additional one of that color. So I can tap it for red and green. Nice. Yeah, Voltron in my land. <laughs> We're not supposed to do that? Uh, you could, yeah, you know, however you're building it, you know? You could right. literally take a, a land commander and just turn your lands into Voltron lands. <laughs> I was kind of confused about the whole thing. I thought we had to have one of each color. <laughs> Over to you, Dan. All right, draw. I'm going to play a Shire Terrace. Tap to add a colorless or pay one and tap sacrifice Shire Terrace to search your library for a basic land card. Put it on the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. Then I'm going to tap the Terrace in the forest for a Lanawar Scout. It is an elf scout, which you can tap to put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield, and it's a 1-3 and capable of blocking light paws. Oh, yeah. but we don't deal with terrorists. You might oh, put terrorists. Okay. You might put something on it and make it bigger. <laughs> Maybe. You Go might. ahead, Chris. Oh, no. <laughs> you might. Wait, I mean. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> I'll play Shiver Reap. Uh, tap for colors or tap for blue and red deals one damage to me. Um, decisions, decisions. Yeah. You play the land. I'll play Arcane Signet. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> An Arcane Signet. All right. You did pass. Though. I did pass. Untap. Draw. Let's see what other fun I can do. All right. We'll play a, another planes in my monocolor deck. Surprise. Surprise. I'll pay three, and I will play Umbra Mystic. Auroras attached to permanents you control have totem armor. If an enchantment permanent you control would be destroyed, instead remove all damage from it and destroy an Aurora attached to it. So, like, put one on there, you essentially get two, and if, if like, it was destroyed, the... Because that's how uh, Umbras work, right? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so with the, um, instead of the creature dying, you just... Uh, pop one of the auras off. One yeah, creature you want. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's a two-two. Um, Sweet. Hmm. Let's get this pain train going. The pain train. Uh. Even odd. Stan's got some. <laughs> Chris is always odd. Yep. And Chris is getting attacked for two. <laughs> I'm not even Voltron. I will yet. remember this. And his commander. So. I know, but I want to get the pain train going. Uh -huh. And with that, I will pass. All right, let me untap and draw this card. Play this mountain. And I think Ken has the right idea here. Uh uh. You played a land pass. Uh, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I'm going to tap four because my forest taps for mountain and forest. And I'm going to cast my commander. Ooh. So, Stang is here. Currently by himself. 
There's a one on there. <laughs> uh, when Stang Echo Warrior attacks, create Stang Twin, a legendary 3-4 uh, red and green human warrior creature token. It enters the battlefield tapped and attacking. For each aura and equipment attached to Stang, create a token that's a copy of it. Um, and attach to Stang Twin. Sacrifice all tokens this way at the beginning of the next end step. And that is it. No haste or anything. Nothing on it. Nothing there. Okay. Up to date. Alright. Yeah, you got it out of turn early. Let's see. I am going to play a swamp. Then I'm going to tap all three of my lands here to get my commander out. Talisha, Sunslayer. Okay. Then I'm going to tap my scout to put Witherbloom Campus on the battlefield. Witherbloom Campus enters the battlefield tapped. Tap to add a uh, swamp or forest or pay for it to tap to scry one. Cool. All okay. set there, Dan. Yep. Right. Uh, I do not like tap. Tap touch. <laughs> I do not like tap touch. <laughs> well, cause even if you don't attack, you can't attack him, you lose your thing with all your things. Yeah, yeah but then I have to rebuild, and that can be annoying. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Guess I gotta join the train? <laughs> the commander train? <laughs> lose one for the ship and reef. Sure. Cast Calamax. Easier. He's your local Toyota dealer. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. So Calamax used cars and SUVs. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. Untap. Draw. <laughs> oh, guys, we're playing for keeps here. Um, I'll play a planes. Probably didn't see that coming. Nope. Um, I'll pay four. And I will play... Archon of Sun's Grace. Uh, it's an Archon. <laughs> Pegasus. Anyways, uh, flying lifelink. Pegasus creatures you control have lifelink. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, create a 2 2 white Pegasus creature token with flying. It's a 3 4. Man. Well, you know, they put out uh, Wilds of Eldraine, you know, had all these enchantments in there in that uh, commander deck. Um, boo! Boo Urns? Yeah, Boomers. I was saying boomers. <laughs> okay, you got Calamax Ford dealership. You got a Death Touch. Come on down to Calamax Ford. I'm just gonna hold for now. Oh man, Jeez, seems this legit. guy too legit. <laughs> Pass. Just attack everybody. <laughs> untap. Yeah. Draw this. I thing. have a plan, dude. <laughs> so you say. So I say. I'm going to play. Stomping grounds uh, untapped, so I will lose two. Ooh. Yeah, I need it. Uh, I'm gonna pay four for Tisharo, the Shattered Blade. It is a four four. Whenever aura equipment enters the battlefield under my control, I create a two two red spirit creature token with menace. And at the beginning of my end step, I put a one one counter on each modified creature I control, which would be anything with equipment, auras. Our counters are considered that. So uh, I'm going to pay one, use this for green, and I'll put Rancor on Stang. Uh, so that is an enchant creature that gets plus two, plus zero, oh, and trample, and when it is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, return Rancor to its owner's hand. I do create a 2-2 two, two, uh, red spirit because of that. 2-2. Two, two, oh, nice. Red That's spirit with menace. Uh, and then it does a thing at the end. All right, I gotta try to do something. Yep. So it is currently a five, four with trample. And when I attack, I get a secondary one of them. Mm. So I, th yeah, you think it's big, isn't it? Four, four. Yeah, that would kill this. Okay, uh, I will attack Ken mm. with the three, uh, five, four trample. And then the copy's gonna go at Dan. Mm. So it'll be a 5 4 trample at Dan. Yeah. Well, no, what did she. <laughs> is it just. Oh, yeah, yeah, 3 4. Base power? Yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't. Don't, no, it gets the copy of everything. So it's oh, still 5. Oh, sweet. It yeah. gets everything, copies with it, and then it goes wow. away. They're all just the same thing. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, it's all. So, yeah, so it is still 5. Wow. It's early. I'm going to take the five. 
So yours is commander. Yes. I don't think yours technically no. is. No. You can take it if you want, though. I did take it. No, I mean commander. No. <laughs> well, I can't. You didn't I know. I commander. Know. Right. Um, it's elective. <laughs> so I'm going to my end step. Uh, everything goes away. Uh, the technical thing is sacrifice everything. So the creature goes away, the enchantment goes away, and then at the beginning of my end step, put a 1-1 counter on each modified creature I have, which my commander is. Modified. So it is now a... 6 4. Nice. Okay. Chasharo, Spirit. Mm. Go ahead. I am shocked at how much you've gotten done so far this game. He, once he put that uh, Umber or that Utopia, uh, yeah, that, that's uh, like that really, that got you going. It's the only time that, like you hope to get those is at the beginning of the game. When they come later, you're like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't use them a lot, and it's like, hey, Unless this you got some actually kind of works. discard fodder. True. It's like perfect. True. true. Discard true. doesn't draw something else. All right, this is probably gonna hurt, but I need to keep things moving. Agreed. Search for blacks. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put any number of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. You lose three life for each card you put in your hand this way. Oh, well. Ooh, okay. One, two, oh, he's well is that the black three, or whatever? four, five. All right, I'm gonna take twelve. Holy wow! Mackerel. He's got some good cards, no doubt. I yeah. All right, I haven't played a land for turn, so here's a swamp. Then I am going to tap my Lanawar Scout to put a Terramorphic Expanse onto the battlefield. The rare of the two. <laughs> 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 That's good. Definitely feels that way. <laughs> it does. I'm not going to do anything else, so I'm going to sacrifice my Terramorphic Expanse to look for a forest and end my turn. Okay. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Interesting. Play an island. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, we're, we're rumbling. We're rumbling with Ken. Wow. Shoot. Uh, how big is Calamax 4? He's currently 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I'm going to take four. 4 damage. And I will... Wait, is more coming? Yeah. Oh, going to cast Growth Spiral. It is an instant. Calamax is going to copy it and get a little bit bigger. So five. So I'm gonna draw a card. I may put a land card from my hand onto the battlefield. I could do that twice. That's the first one. And the second. Cool. And no lands, huh? And no lands to speak of. Sadly. That's very sad. Yeah. That's Alrighty. Five. Just five. Yep. Okay. Main phase two. <laughs> Alrighty, we got crack the thumbless. Green Main phase or purple. Two. <laughs> 2-2, two, two. whenever I cast instant sorcery spell, flip a coin. If I toss, if if I lose the flip, return that spell to its owner's hand. If I win the flip, copy that spell, and I may choose new targets for the copy. Go ahead, Ken. Okay. Kark! Now, I have to recover from that. <laughs> Shoot. Draw. You still have all your creatures. It's true. Let's play a planes. Um, and I'm going to play... Armored Ascension. Ascension. <laughs> Ascension. <laughs> yes. Uh, enchant creature. Yep. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each plane you control and has flying. Oh, shoot. I yep. shall put that on. Light paws. That's pretty good. And light paws? Not a heavy paws. <laughs> that be really light, heavy. Light paws, Emperor's New Groove. So right now that's four, so that's plus four. So it's a six, six flying. I think you have some triggers too. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Archon, a Sun's Grace. Triggers, I get a 2 2 white Pegasi. It's the best I could do with the drawing. Does that thing fly? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Son of a gun. Flying lifelink, and this is a flying. Uh, Looks like that. a flying hunt. Uh, Umber Mystic, <laughs> just. Uh, <laughs> So it's got totem. Yeah, you're trying to figure out why there's keyboards. Yeah, it doesn't let <laughs> Yeah, 
So light pause triggered uh, whenever an Aurora enters the battlefield under your control. If you cast it, you may search your library for an Aurora card with mana value less than or equal to the Auroras with different it's names. It's like the potato you put in that class and it starts growing those things in the bottom. Roots? Yeah, from member from like science class. I found a uh, spirit mantle. Oh. Uh. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has protection from creatures. Yay. Ken scary. Oh, yes, he is. What? Who the has removal? <laughs> all right, well, you guys all do, because you have the colors for it. I, Somewhere. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, it also yeah. has insane removal suite, so what are, you, yeah. what are you trying to say? But everything's a totem. No, I mean, you do too. I'm saying red I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying you're wrong. I'm saying I didn't mention you. <laughs> all right, you too. <laughs> there, you feel better. <laughs> um... And I get a second pick a sigh for that, uh, that, uh, oh. Constellation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's my constellation, uh, token. <laughs> Whenever it enters the battlefield, it does not have to be cast. Yep. So, it's a 5-5? Five, five? Yeah. Okay. I just gave it the plus four for this, because yeah. it's counting planes. I gotcha. And then, it's, so it's four or five. So it's a 7-7. Seven, seven, with the new groove. It's counting planes, not cars or helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> Automobiles. Fence seven yep. flying in the air. Yeah, and I got no follow up still. I do it to be funny, ways. but it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, yeah I know. I will. But I confuse myself. I will pass. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and untap all of these. Untap this. Draw this. Draw that. Pick up that. All Pick right. up some. Forest. Fivest. Forest. And for three, I'm going to cast Nyx Bloom Behemoth. Ooh, whoa. Okay. It's a 10 10 with trample. Uh, this spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total mana value of non creature enchantments I control. Oh, non creature enchantments. Uh oh. Oh. Messed that up. You might have to pay a little more. Oh, yeah. Mm. I thought it was all my permanents because I read it wrong. Uh, so <laughs> it's one only, so that's actually going to be. Well, you have that. the, the, the um, Utopia Sprawl as well. Yeah, but that's not. That up. So we got one, two, so it'd be eight. And I, don't, I didn't count eight. I only got six. So that's going to have to wait that you guys know it's there now. <gasps> you know uh, what? I <laughs> yeah, that's true. You did this. <laughs> Shoot, I should have listened harder. Non creature. All right. Um, gosh, I feel like I'm supposed to attack, so it's like I should, but. Um. You can always swing the one at Chris and then send the copy at Ken. Mm -hmm. I can swing the one at Ken and the copy at Ken. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Do it. <laughs> I think you guys are going to be too sensitive about this. <laughs> Only, yeah, because he's got so much stuff. Andy did seven damage to you. Yeah. I'll, well, I can't. That's can, a lot yeah. for commander. I will. Oh. I will see what happens there. I will attack you. So, like, my commander actually is this is going to be a six four, and the copy that's going to come out is going to just be five four. They, it that? is trample because this got a plus one plus one. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So. I didn't play any equipment or ours this turn, which kind of sucks. So I didn't get any more buffs. How big again? So this one is 6-4. Um, and this one is 5-4. Okay. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to double block your commander. And then I'll take the 5 here. Okay. And trample. So 4 damage. damage. Are you done blocking? What? Are you're done declaring blockers, Chris is going to do something. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to try to help you out. Oh boy, I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to cast Infuriate. You sure? Yeah, I don't know what that says. Yeah, that's why I said nobody knows. Uh, it's hard. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> Just keep going. You know what it says. Actually, okay, so, great. Now you have me second guess what my card is. <laughs> it says, punching, ta-ta-ta. 
Wow. There not be creature I control. No, good, okay. Target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. I have two triggers. I have a crack trigger and I have a Calamax trigger. <laughs> He's got a Kark trigger. Yeah. Yeah, Kark. Uh, so Calamax is going to copy this first uh, to get a counter. Oh. So now I have to try to resolve crack. Kark. So <laughs> I'll call heads. Such a That's nice even flip. Darn. Yeah. Poker man. All right, this goes back to my hand. So you get plus three, plus two until end of turn. On that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so he doesn't die? Correct. Wow, I really So, this. But it also has trample, so keep yes. that in mind. So four yeah. minus four, so what's left? <laughs> so it's It was six, six, so seven. No, how much did it get? You said? So you get plus three, plus two. So six, seven, eight, nine, right? Minus four. Yeah. Five. So five. So I take five? Yeah, you're taking five commander. And then five not commander. Yeah, so I take ten. Yeah. Harsh, going to ten. I wasn't expecting that. I actually was hoping he would block one and one. I was I'm, like, oh no, I, I realized I messed a, up big time and then he saved me with Jace. I've seen yeah. it as a three. It was a little bit of a save, but also I was kind of hoping to boost it, get a get the copy with crack, so you yeah. get plus nine, plus six. That would have been ridiculous. Yeah. Oh. But, uh, alas. Um, Live by the coin flip, die by the coin flip. Well, I guess go to my end step, and then I will put a 1-1 one, one on this, because of Jashiro. Each modified creature, which is still only that one. And I guess that's it. I didn't draw anything that I can use. Still took like 10 damage. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I... Go ahead, Dan. I was not... That was, uh, that was rough. Well, I realize that's the threat right now, so... I'm gonna pay one for Tajeru Bright Blight Blade. Uh, it is a elf rogue with death touch, 1-1 one, one on the ground. Oh my god, man. <laughs> then... Dude. Touch tribal over here. Yep. <laughs> it was, that's kind of the secondary, uh... <laughs> Just, you know, it's Voltron. <laughs> what do you do? What's the best way to deal with Voltron? Well, have it die on a 1-1, one, one, I guess. Ouch. 1-2, Sanctuary Blade. 1-2-3. Alright, Sanctuary Blade. As Sanctuary be Blade becomes attached to a creature, choose a color. Equipped creature gets plus 2, plus 0, and has protection from the last chosen color. Equipped for 3. I have paid the 3. I have finally started my Voltroning. So green, <laughs> Glissa Sunslayer has protection from green. First strike, death touch. Cool. So I still can't deal with flying, Ken. Well, well, it's protection from creatures. It's protection so. from green. So if you try to target it with an enchantment, does that work or no? I mean, he's not enchanting it with anything right now. But uh, I'm correct, saying. it would not. Work. I would have to unattach it and reattach it. Yeah. Yep. Oh no! Again, I don't think that was his plan. <laughs> no. Okay. I just. No, this is mostly right. this is mostly an artifact deck. Gotcha. Mostly. Okay. I didn't know if you stole from the uh, dog meat. The, the deck. biggest <laughs> issue. So the, there's the, the, there's two issues with Voltron decks when I play them in the past. First is your commander dies. Yeah. And it's like okay, well I've got a whole stack of auras on him. What happens to those? They disappear. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, do I dig them out? So basically you end up rebuilding. At least with equipment, it's on the battlefield, and they got to destroy each individual equipment. And yeah, you got to pay to reattach them, but you don't got to dig them out of the graveyard. That's so I, was, I leaned heavily into artifact more than enchantment and auras. Mm. No, you're cool. I'm just, I'm just explaining my thoughts. <laughs> yeah, because it's too late for you to do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um... I have a 1-3, everybody else has blockers, I don't feel like attacking with my Voltron, because uh, defense. Uh, Alright, go ahead, Chris. Okie dokie. Very, okay. very interesting. Yeah. Draw. Let's go with another non-green source. Like, it's not as bad as I make it out to be, but it's just... I stalling. I wanted no. I wanted to sequence things differently, but I've been unable to get to where I want to be with that. But that's okay. It's a, this is a wild game. Uh, combat can, unfortunately. What do I do? Then you're the danger. I wouldn't do anything. Because your Chris Voltron Chris. has protection from creatures. Yeah. And it's tapped. <laughs> 
All right, uh, I'm going to cast Electro Dominance. Oh, jeez. It's an instant. Uh, X is four. So I'm guaranteed a copy off Calamax, and I get the coin flip from Truck. So double my commander. It's all right. So this copy's happening. Let's see if Croc wins the flip. Electro Dominance deals X damage to any target. You yeah, may what? cast a card with converted mana cost X or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Thank, Thank you, Chris. Chris. Yeah. So X is four right now. I do not win heads again. So it goes back to the hand. So four twice. Womp womp. Mm. Uh, so I still have the copy. Ah, okay. Four yeah. once. Yes, four once. So the the four is going at your uh, Archon. And then I get to cast a spell with converted mana cost for less from my hand, which will be a braid targeting your uh, Umbro Mystic. So deal three damage to your Umbro Mystic. Interesting. Oh. His Voltron is still alive. Well, Bray gets rid of a uh, artifact. Yeah. Now my Ron totem just, yeah. armor is gone, and now I don't get a uh, free little uh, form. Yeah, yeah. You're, but you still have protection from creatures. Yes. Right. He still has his commander. So. But I, but I'm able to push through a Calamax for the full seven. Yeah. Come on now, Calamax four this Saturday for for a raffle. See, wouldn't you have rather given up twelve life for some cards? <laughs> Uh, we're, yeah, we're in that game. And getting dogpiled on, so go yeah. ahead. I don't think uh, I'm going to last very much longer. Draw. Never know. This is where he slams, dance it, dance this is where he slams the time. life link enchantment that gets the other life link enchantment that gets yeah. double life when he smacks me in the face. Let's play a plane. I'm gonna play Vault 101 Birthday Party. Woo! Nice. Uh, it's a saga or Sega, as Vince says. Sega. Uh, I get a, I get to create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token and a food token. Poof. Nice. Uh, that was mode one. Two and three is you may put an Aurora or equipment card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. If an equipment is put onto the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature you control. An Aurora Borealis. <laughs> at this time of year. <laughs> Focused at entirely this, in your kitchen. <laughs> at this last year? <laughs> yes. All right, I will pay two. And I'll play Starfield Mystic. Hmm. Enchantment spells you cast cost one less to cast. Whenever an enchantment you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Starfield Mystic. He's a 2-2. Two, two. Um, let's adjust for mana size. So that's 5. So, and that's 8 at Chris's face. Yep. Flying in the air. I have to accept. I have to accept. All right. Um, that ends that. That is my turn. I shall pass. Untap. And I'm wide open. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not kidding. So I'm sure you guys are going to destroy these before. Did you attack somebody? You yeah. attacked me. Attack okay. Chris, yeah. who done did things to me. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to try to attack at you, Chris, with my yep. commander, and then the copy will go at Dan. Um, so, uh, three, four, five, six. It's seven with my commander, unfortunately. Um, and the copy's five. I am going to be playing more the last two turns, so I can actually get a little chain going, but I... I block the copy with my death touch that has protection from green. Okay, so you just take two. Two? Okay. Two. I'll take a full seven. Oh, wow. So yeah, he was just here. This game's cutthroat. <laughs> I, you know, I kind of was going to attack you, but I was like, man, you, you did get kind of dogpiled there. Yeah. And, uh, Showing some mercy. I see. I guess. I didn't do it. <laughs> See how it goes. I just play around because I gotta. Man, I'm gonna have to do something else here eventually. Um. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and pass to you. All Where's right. The saving line to you. Incredible. Draw. Let's play a land. Then. Yeah, yeah, land. Just a land drop too. Ooh. That's rough. Black Blade Reforge. Oh. Equipped creature gets 1-1 one, one for each land you control. Equip legendary creature for 3 or equip for 7. Oh. Uh, let's see. 
What's my second blade? Impressive. Equip black blade reforged. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven off of black blade. Are there any triggers on Willis or no? And nothing yet. Oh, okay. No. All right. Just checking. Do you have to deal combat damage or do you have to just attack? Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player. Okay. But frankly, with heavy hitters around, I'm kind of waiting until I can give her uh, vigilance. <laughs> oh, man. Correct. This is Voltron. Aren't you guys going to try to do the same? No, I... I... <laughs> like, like, is it, what are we playing? <laughs> it's just the fact that you said you're waiting on it, because I feel like by then it'll, you'll be just one shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <this> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's question is who. It's Where's this rogue's passage? It goes around the board so many times. Right. I know. If you I attack know. for seven, three times, you win. If you yep. wait to get to 21, it might not happen. No, you're right. You're you. right. Yeah. I'm just saying. No, there's, yeah, there's I, I could, I could crack through with a good heavy hit here. Just wait for the I probably should. should but I, that, I'm, you know, I'm not, um, wrong, I'm not wrong. But I, I oh, think that not. if I attack anybody... Then Chris is going to attack me, you're going to attack me, and Ken's going to attack me. Not true. You've not done much to me. No, but you're actually the person I'm weakest to at the moment. Oh, with the like, commander? So I'm going to pay two Commandery. for some cobbled wings. Equipped creature has flying. Equipped for one. I don't have enough to equip it. So tank. He's going to have Aladdin drop him to play to do it? No. I kind of ran out using Lana War Scout to yeah. oh, dry my hand up. So I need some card Lotion. draw. Oh. Mm. <laughs> but that's not going to happen this right. turn. I thought it was more important that I build up some defenses. Fair enough. Anyways, go ahead. Okay. Take these cobbles. <laughs> no idea what I can Protection draw. Protection from creatures. Green? It's disgusting. <laughs> now it's vulnerable. Red. Because uh, well, at least you got like brand. Yeah. So, I mean, I've... I'm looking for gas right now, and I'm not finding it. Beans? You can go to Taco Bell and come <laughs> I could. Yeah. Open late. Fiber. So you can feel great for about 15 minutes. <laughs> feel great eating it, and a second later, you're like, a paradise <clears throat> druid. 2-1. Elf druid has hexproof as long as it's untapped, and it can tap and add one mana at any color. Well, there you go. That's and nice. on that note, I will pass to Ken. Huh. As much as I... Do not want to do that. All right, untap. All right, um, I draw and then I go to Vault 101's trigger. Yep. Okay. Um, so we move to number two. Uh, you may put an Aurora or equipment card from your hand or graveyard onto the battlefield. If an equipment is put onto the battlefield this way, you may attach it to a creature you control. Uh, uh, on Sarah's wings and attach it to uh, Light Paws. Yep. Chanted uh, Creature is legendary, which, is, you know, uh, it gets plus one, plus one. It has flying, vigilance, and lifelink. Mm -hmm. um, this one, if you cast it, I didn't cast it. You just put it onto right. the battlefield. Okay. That's fine. Just wanted to make sure. Um. I want to make sure I have enchantments in my hand for the next trigger. So I'll pay two and I'll play Open the Armory. Search your library for an Aurora Equipment card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Searching, searching. I have to reveal it. So I'm going to reveal Thrawn Power Suit. Mm. Equip creature gets plus one, plus one for each Aurora Equipment attached to it and has Ward 2. Equip for two. Get to reveal it and put it into my hand. It gives you a creature award too? Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, then I will also play for actually one because of the discount, because of Starfield Mystic. Yep. I'll play All That Glitters. Uh, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. That'll attach here. Now I get a trigger for that cast. I knew I should have cut your deck. <laughs> it was all for naught. It's all for naught. So I'm going to search again. So I take up all the time. <laughs> yeah, find your one mana aura. Well, it can be equal to. Oh, it does equal. Oh, that's, that's right? 
Man of value less than or equal to, and with a different name. Okay. Yikes. This one's name is Dave. Attaching Sage's uh, Revere. Reverie? Reverie, that's what I said. Chant creature, when uh, Sage's Revere enters the battlefield, draw a card for each Aurora you control that's attached to a creature. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one for each Aurora uh, you control that's attached to it. So I'll be able to draw five cards. And now everybody's favorite part. How big is Lightpaw? Yeah. That's a good question. I still have five lands, so 22. You count them. You counted them all up three times. Uh, this one's uh, one one for each aurora you control is attached to the creature, and this is uh, one one for each artifact and or enchantment you control. Okay. So I had to count these two. Oh, okay. I thought you counted that row three times. My bad. I did. I counted it twice. You know, here. Okay. So it's like one, two, three, definite. Or I'm sorry. That's five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It should be 21. Yeah. 21. Oh, okay. So now I just one shot somebody. Yeah. Yep. Because I also have vigilance and lifelink. Oh, Air protection wow. creatures. Yes. Yeah. So it's just your choice, and then you just, if you survive, you can go around the board three times. Which yeah, if I survive. All your creatures stays on tap, so you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to block something huge. Let's see how this goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oof. Dan. All right, Dan. 21. Fog. Nothing fog, I can fog, do. Fog. Yeah. All right. 10, 20. What he doesn't know is I was going to kill him next turn. Well, Seriously? I had key yeah. to the city. Oh, okay. And I discard a card. He's unblockable, and I would have played a land, and that's enough to... It would have wiped out your life there. Although, with all the life gain you had, it wouldn't have mattered at that point. Yeah. But... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And that's gonna be my turn. Yeah. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm Taz's. I think I'm back. Draw. I didn't attack anybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dog probably oh, can. A, oh, no. No. Yes. Why is everybody attacking Ken? No wonder. <laughs> I would. I. You know. <laughs> Forest. What a shocker. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> just. Just little old mono white auras. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's not a good dish. <laughs> he particularly is just insane. Yeah. Hyper focused on it. Mm -hmm. It sucks because there's nothing I could do because his commander's untapped. Yeah. Like it's. I mean, I, even if I attack, like he, no damage is gonna get in. True. I got nothing. I didn't pull anything that I can destroy an artifact or anything. You have multiple creatures, so I can at least block one. That's what be yeah. But I have these two. I can't do thirty-four with what's left. I mean, it's just there's just no way. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I'm just I'm just weighing the options out loud because no removal. Um, I don't know, what can I do to help you, Vince? How about that? I, wow. Right there. There's nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like I wish there's something I could do to help out. You know. Uh, feel bad, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, no. You, you guys are like, yeah, you suck. You yeah. Suck. And now I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean, I got yeah, stuff too nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one turn, but I still wouldn't have been able to kill him anyways. But yeah, no, yeah, I, I pass. I, I got nothing. I'm sorry. Okay. Your stuff isn't trampled, all right. Oh, that doesn't matter. You're protected from creatures. My bad. And flying. Well, the creatures thing is worse. Yeah, there is there's at least one card in the deck that doesn't. It. That ain't it. Well, actually. Uh -huh. What a red? Just oh, a cycle Edge of Autumn. Uh, cycling, sacrifice a land. So, do that, draw a card. Does it trace? Oh, no, it doesn't. No, I'm no, thinking of the wrong card. Nope. Uh, normally it's one in the green. Uh, if you control four or fewer lands, search your library for a basic land, put it on the battlefield tap, then shuffle your library. Um, in this and, case, cycling. Yeah. And now we're at uh, who? So I'll take that colorless and these two to cycle Ketria Triome. Ketria Triome. <laughs> four. No dice. Um. 
What's crazy too is like in Voltron decks, there's less creatures, so like sometimes yep. your creatures get taken out a lot unless you put like boots on them and stuff. But we ain't even getting any removal cards. Yeah. It's like what? The I heck? was expecting. Like, oh yeah, I have. St I ha we all have stuff. It's just where didn't pull it. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting that at all. Like, you know. You know. Yeah, tagging you doesn't matter because you have protection from creatures and you gain life link. Tons and of life link, yeah. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Tag helps you. Let's untap. Draw. The vigilance. Resolve. That's, That's what kills, man. Let's resolve this birthday party. Uh, get to put in equipment or our raw equipment. Put angelic gift down. Uh, you know, I'll put it on the Starfield Mystic, and I get to draw a card, so it replaces itself, so that's even nicer. Nice. Uh, then this is gone, so that's done with. I will play a Planes for turn, so that ups this to six. I could do really mean things, I just don't want to at this point. <laughs> yeah, so you don't even have to. More mean things? I mean, uh, attacking and killing someone's probably the meanest thing you could I do. had a secondary plan in here in case I was in that position where I was just being, like I was being taken down, but now I'm getting those cards that oh, okay. would do that. Yeah. I'll explain. No, I get it. Armageddon. <laughs> <laughs> probably one of the best Voltron strats you can do. Set your commander up. Vol Armageddon. Well, let's do this in one shot, huh? Sure. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play Undo Spirit Dancer. When uh, an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may create a token that's a copy of it. Do this uh, only once each turn. Oh, I can't. Do that. Yeah. I thought it, I read it wrong for a second there. I did that on my card earlier. I was reading yeah. it wrong for some reason. Just read it wrong. Sometimes you just read it wrong. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> it almost seems pointless. Like, this is cool a minute ago, but it's it kind of seems pointless right now, you know? I, you're, yeah, you're pretty much already set up. I am. Who are you knocking out this, this round? All right. He's rolling again. Odd, oh, man. even. Yep. It's always odd. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chris. Wait, it's one less. Does that matter? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, because uh, it, I was counting in this enchantment in that original, you know. Yes, but you replaced it with angelic. Gift. Good point. So, so yes, yeah. it doesn't. Yep. So, got me. Got him with the enchantment. Got him. Yeah. Um, plus, you added another planes, so that went up, ticked it up. Anyway. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Uh, just for giggles, I'll pay two and I'll play Thrawn Power Suit. Uh, equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each Aurora and enchantment attached to it. It has ward two. It equips for two. I'm not equipping it right now, but um, with that, I'm going to pass. Draw this. Uh, it does not help. Nope. Go ahead, or good game, because I got nothing. <laughs> I was going to say good game, but I know he likes to play it out. I like to draw my last card just to see what I get, which it was a plane, so that goes to seven. I wasn't getting any. I wasn't drawing any of my stuff. Like I'll just pay the two and attach. I'm not going to figure it out. I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. I'm just Shot him. I have uh, land coming the next, like, four or five cards. Okay. <laughs> Old school. Nicely done. Yeah, good Ken. one, Ken. Really, that was... Man. Well, once you guys started tearing me down, I was really scared that you guys were gonna... Had I known you had that much of a rebound, I probably would have never... I didn't think I did, but I think up. when I... Um, or, no, I, I was holding on to that uh, open the armory, and once I got this uh, birthday party out, it kind of gave me a rebound right there. My mm. secondary plan was to pacify everything. <laughs> And I just oh, started drawing okay, in cool. to pass them. So I had Same. like, yeah, hey, I have a whole bunch of fogs in here, and I just didn't have any in hand. Well, I mean, yeah. I have pacify and chain. Actual, yeah. Like your Kurt, uh, 
Petrify, enchant a creature, can't attack or block or activate abilities. Yeah, that's why yeah, I had a lot of folks. Change to custody. Mm -hmm. stuff I, had heroic yeah, intervention. I, I thought we'd be seeing that like every so combat. I just held this fog, as like fog, someone fog. I had heroic intervention in my <laughs> hand and it was irrelevant because he was protected <laughs> from creatures, so like they can't even use it. <laughs> well, you had that in hand? <laughs> well, when it didn't matter. But, oh, yeah, okay. So. All right, that's fair. Yeah, that's I had fair. heroic <laughs> intervention, and that didn't matter. Yeah. No, he had... Uh, I had fierce guardian. Fierce guardian. Fierce guardian. Fierce guardian. Shit, but I was fierce, expecting... But, yeah. Wow, guys. I mean, I will have to say, even though I gained that uh, advantage, uh, you guys built some pretty strong Voltron decks. We barely saw 1% of my deck. Yeah, same here. Unfortunately, I, I got off to a nice... Start early, like well, you definitely yeah. got to do stuff and beat face. Dan, yeah. I think I yeah. got some ramp and I was getting there, yeah. Like, I was yeah. three I, or four turns, yeah. Away. Seeing what you were doing with like you actually were like, Yeah, I'm gonna build this tower and then knock you down within one shot. That was that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was I was just stuck on pump spells and didn't see any gas, so that was that was kind of my thing. It's just like, Okay, do I put the put the pedal to the metal immediately and then burn out, or do I try to like Again, play it safe, and again, I, I feel like I overblown the green thing there, but I wanted to develop that. Dr that, that was my point. druid way sooner. That's that's awesome. Healing the host. Yeah, because then I would have had yeah. multiple yeah. multiples. Because once it copies one, mm -hmm. one becomes another two. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. Just multiplicative. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. Cool. We didn't get there, but still, this became a slugfest real fast. Yeah. I mean, it regardless of my deck, definitely picked it up quick. Picking up. We all got going, you know. We all were doing stuff. Yeah, that it's was... not like we were all sitting here twiddling thumbs, going, "I hope I get another mana." Well, I did for the last two turns, unfortunately. But, I know. But yeah, but no, I, yeah, definitely. But I, I got to give props where props are due. I mean, we did move, we did go. So I am impressed with everybody's deck, regardless if we got a full showing out of it or not. I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed. Good job, guys. GGS. Yeah, GGS. Ken, nicely done. Thank well played. You. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed the game, too. Uh, like I said, I want to thank MTG Godzilla and Vince for suggesting this idea. It was fun. We all got to create our own Voltron deck, and uh, we were able to uh, get it going. <laughs> that would have been scary. That's so. why I all the <laughs> When you were looking at them, and I was like, yeah, I just got and That's why I actually had so many. I was planning on doing more. That's crazy. <laughs> Sweet. GG's, gentlemen. Yep, GG's. Uh, so give us a like, give us a subscribe. Supports us, helps us out. Like me. It helps you out to know when new games and shorts and whatnot drops. Yeah. Make sure to share with your friends and check out some of our other uh, back backlog videos after this one. Partners. Yep. And we will see you guys on the next one. Light pause, mono white. Mono, man. <laughs>